For this mixologist, it's all about the details. Pomegranate juice. Combining flavors. A little dash of lime. With a finishing touch. Fresh juices, fresh ingredients, um, but it still has the kind of the vibe of you're still drinking a cocktail, you know. But these drinks are all alcohol free. I would say in the last year it's gotten more popular. At the Independence in Santa Monica, California, they're seeing more customers thirsty for mocktails. We probably go through maybe like 20, 30, possibly in like a lunch or dinner shift. It's one of many bars and restaurants embracing high end non alcoholic beverages. <laughs> there are even sober bars popping up across the country. We're living in a time where everyone really wants to customize their life to what feels right to them. According to market research firm Mintel, one in five drinkers has reduced their alcohol consumption in the past year, citing wellness goals as the top reason for cutting back. Less sugar, less carbs, be more active. Or just not the depressing feeling, because alcohol is a depressant. Modern mocktails allow people to ditch the booze while keeping the social experience. Mocktails is much sexier than asking for like a virgin version of something. And stay under the radar of friends who imbibe. And I think having something that looks and tastes similar enough, you can kind of pass it off. The Shirley Temple has officially grown up, yes. with bartenders yes. upping the ante on virgin drink presentation. The awe factor. Inviting customers to drink up, but skip the hangover. Liz McLaughlin, NBC News.